Welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing for you. The Puchner 5732 that I purchased last January has been officially overhauled and it is back so that we can go ahead and start breaking it in. Now I sent it off to Chad Taylor to have the repairs done on it. While it was away it had a full on oil bath as well as I added on a high D key to the instrument. Uh, he checked for any rot or any uh, long term potential for damage that could happen in the instrument and it came back all good. So um, it's also had new pads added to it, new felts and corks. So we are going to open this bad boy up and give it a play test. Now you guys know I already have a Heckle Bassoon and a Model 5000 series Puchner. This Puchner that I have here today predates the Model 5000 Puchner by several plus years. Now, the whole point of this is that the 5732 was when they were only doing serial numbers. They weren't doing model numbers yet for Puchner. So this is an older instrument and I wanted to have this done so that I have an instrument to offer to you guys. Now this is going to be that once I break it in, I make sure that it's playing every way that I want, that the vocal that I recently purchased, the DD1 Puchner off of eBay, if you saw my last haul, you already know about that. I wanna make sure that it's a good match. And um, if not, then I wanna make sure that I do get the good match for it. Once I'm sure that it's all broken in and ready to go, I will put it on my website. And when it is on my website, then it will be available for you guys to go ahead and purchase. So this is my way of helping you guys find affordable bassoons because on a weekly basis, I receive between five and 10 emails asking for help in purchasing a bassoon. And I know what it's like to try to find one that is under that $10,000 range. So this is my test run of finding a bassoon, overhauling it, and then making it available to you guys. So let's go ahead and make sure that everything went well in the shipping process. So here it is. This is the new case that I went ahead and purchased for it that I have not seen yet because I knew what I was buying because it's the same case that is on many of the Nobel instruments. So it's kind of like a Cobalt case, but it's actually in some ways, I think, better than a Cobalt case, but not as heavy. I like that because it's not going to cause as much uh, tension on the shoulders, but it also has that backpack style option. And there it is. Okay, so already we have the um, straps. It not only has a strap for a backpack strap, but also for a shoulder strap, if that's more what you're interested in. So I'll be sure and go ahead and add that on. We have a hand rest for those of you who like to play with a hand rest. One of my subscribers actually called this the wonky eyebrow because it looks like um, one eyebrow. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> but um, That was, I think, one of my favorite comments that I have gotten on a video because I've never heard it called that. Okay, so already you can see on the bell that it is an older instrument. It is stamped with a Puchner on the bell as well as the serial number on the bell. And you can tell it's older because it has that very fancy orange bell cap. And this is because it was made out of plastic, so you don't have to worry about any issues with ivory. This is what happens to plastic as it ages. For those of you who love antiquing, I'm sure you're already familiar with that, but I think it's one of the most beautiful features out there. It's just, it's kind of magical because it shows that this is a loved instrument. So here you have the wing joint. Of course you have the C sharp, the A, the B, C, and also I did go ahead and add on the high D key. So if you're noticing that the color is a little bit different in the uh, polish of the silver on the keys, this one I did go ahead and add it on. It does have all of the thumb keys you could need on the front. It does have a little bit where the varnish has been loved off around the third finger, but um, I know that Chad actually touched that up. You'll note that some of the tone holes do actually have linings in them and some of them don't. In order to keep the price down for you guys, I did not add finger tone hole liners in all of the joints, but that is something that if you're playing long term, you might want to go ahead and add in. But I also wanted to re-break the instrument in after oil so that I could feel how it was playing in between the process in case I end up being the person who is adding those liners in because anytime you do any adjustments to the instrument whether it's adding a high D key or adding finger liners you are going to be adjusting the overall sound so I think it's important to test that out you can see that up here 
We have, again, the 5732, so it does have all of the pieces. This isn't a Franken-Bassoon. Um, I call a Franken-Bassoon because it's like Frankenstein. I have seen oboes that are pieced together, uh, portions of other instruments. This is all matched from the original same instrument. Okay, here is the fancy boot joint. The back of the instrument here, again, it still has that same serial number, so like I said, you know it's not a Franken-Rune, I guess you could call it. The boot cap for anybody who's super picky like me where I like to use a seat strap that has of course the use of an S ring rather than just a cap that fits underneath the whole boot. This does have a hole on the boot joint so that you can go ahead and do that. You can also see that of course it does have a great YouTube that doesn't have any bends in it or anything that's going to alter the sound and it does have fresh cork so it is good to go on the ceiling. Okay guys, so this is my new baby Puchner. I'm going to be taking it for a test run and playing it in. If you want to keep up with that, be sure that you follow me on Instagram stories so that you can hear the instrument as it breaks in. I will post regular sound clips as the instrument is adjusting. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any future videos, be sure to click that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.